if you're gonna have a virtual coaching session with myself, then we're gonna to need to get some footage of you riding. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some tips to show you the easiest way to get yourself on camera so that I can see what you're doing wrong and then show you what to do right. Overall, bear in mind, we're not looking for a cinematic masterpiece. We just need a few clips that allow me to see the mistakes that you're making. Also, be aware we're not looking for a long movie of your whole session. Usually we just need two to five clips of like 10 to 15 seconds each, showing you making your typical mistakes for a specific trick or technique. Now there are two main ways to film yourself. GoPro on the lines, or getting a friend to film you from the beach. So footage shot from a line mount is probably the most common clips I receive, as you don't need anyone else to capture them, and they work great for showing board and body positions. So any action camera will do, I just happen to use GoPro. You can use like a standard one or one of the 360 versions. Okay, this is set up and the camera's too close. And this one here is too far away. But as you can see, this works pretty well. We can see both your board and your foil, if it's for kite foiling, and you're in shot the whole time. Plus we can see the horizon, which can be really helpful in certain situations. For a normal GoPro where your kite has a low V and so the camera's really close to you, then you want the camera set up on a super wide setting. And if you have a high V, and therefore the camera is further up the lines, then experiment, but a wide or linear setting will probably work best. Any stabilization settings like hyper smooth are great as it will make the footage easier to work with. Now, if you have a 360 cam like the GoPro Max, that will always need to be placed lower on the lines, actually as close to you as possible. So if you have a high V, you should still be able to place it between the parallel lines closer to the bar. Now remember, I only need three or four clips, so you don't need to ride for hours at a time to get the footage that you need. If you film less, it's way easier to find the clips you need to send over to me. So when it comes to filming from the beach, an iPhone or a decent Android phone will work great. You know, they're now shooting 4K and they have great stabilization. And actually even a GoPro Hero set on linear will work pretty well for a wide shot. So these beach shots are great when we need to see the timing and movement of the kite. Something that could be important if you're having issues with jibes or tacks or jumping. These are also the easiest to shoot as you don't need to be too close. And it's just important that you and the kite are in the shot the whole time. So close up shots are actually really difficult to get unless you can ride really close to the beach. Otherwise, you know, you're probably gonna need a pretty good camera and a decent tripod to make that work. Um, the reason being that we need the footage to be pretty stable. You can't be zooming, shooting in and out of shot the whole time. Um, and that's actually a lot harder than people think to film. So when it comes to editing the footage, there's lots of different apps you can use on either your smartphone or on a laptop or desktop computer. I'm not gonna go into it all now, but ultimately you just need to go through your footage and cut it down and export a small number of clips that just show the trick you're wanting to work on with me. And the best way to think about it is you want about five seconds leading into the trick, then the trick itself, and then allow another few seconds afterwards for the exit. You wanna export them as MP4 files with a medium quality so you can get the files into the kind of 20 to 50 megabyte range. And in total, I don't really want more than about 200 megabytes of footage, and that's kind of 60 to 90 seconds maximum. If you look in the description for this video, I'll link it to a few of the different apps that might be worthwhile using, because they'll change over time. But you know, for most people, the app that comes with your camera is gonna work the best. So if you use a GoPro, the quick app on your smartphone is gonna be the best or the GoPro uh, video player on your desktop computer. And when you're ready to send the footage to me, then something like WeTransfer is probably the easiest. It's free to use and you don't really need to set anything up. I am happy for you to send it to me through Dropbox or OneDrive or one of those kind of services. Just make sure that I don't need to have an account myself to be able to log in and, and, and download the footage.
If you've got any questions about filming or sending me footage, then get in touch. Um, I'm also happy for you to send me like a single small clip so that I can check to see if the quality of what you're getting is gonna be good enough. And if you wanna know more about Progressions Virtual Coaching, you can check out this video or you can go and check out our website.